If one man's trash is another man's treasure, perhaps no one knows this better than Mike's son. It's a lot of hard work. Hard work helped build his recycling business into an empire. And while it's mostly circuit boards and old computers, occasionally he finds a rare gem. We probably get two, three hundred VCRs that day. Most people wouldn't blink twice at an old VCR, certainly not Todd Wang. <laughs> I think this one's a little bit worn out. I think it's from like the 70s. <laughs> Young enough. He barely remembers I mean, using one. There, so Problem is, his mother did. My mom came back from work and she was just looking for the VCR. She was really sad. So that's when we knew. Knew that they probably shouldn't have recycled it. A mistake that meant it was headed for a shredder. She was ready to crawl into the trucks on, uh, on Monday morning and uh, go through on her own. She told us and then we were all freaking out as a family. Yeah. <laughs> Inside was some of the family's life savings. Now among 12 tons of stuff workers had to dig through. Amazingly. You got refrigerators, people helping out. After hours of searching, they found it. I got it, I got it. That's that type of environment that we work in. That was, I think, the last BCR in the bin. And he like, here is the last one. I think it was just more stuck inside like this. Yeah. Today, the Wangs were reunited with the old VCR and nearly $6,000 in cash inside. Please keep it in the bank, not, <laughs> not in the VCR. Yeah, thank you. So, with the promise, to still recycle their old electronics, but this time replace them with something a little more practical. I think we'll get a seat. <laughs> In Renton, Lindsay Cohen, Como 4 News.